It's a need. I have a great need to make art. I can't explain it. All I know is there's a desperate need. The painting can't give the viewer anything unless the viewer has something to give the painting and can emotionally connect with passion and a kind of sophistication and a depth of knowledge and hurt and love and passion and longing. All those things are in each painting. And if you haven't got anything in your little soul, you're not gonna get anything out of the paintings. I'm not gonna tell them what to think. The paintings have to stand on their own when I'm alive now and when I'm gone. I make paintings because they're waiting for me. getting older. <laughs> I'm, I'm the best I've ever been. I don't want to be a Northwest painter. I don't want to be known as a Northwest artist. The purples are fabulous and the blues are adequate. Color has a voice and it's not an audible voice. There's no words but it talks to you and it leads me. I follow my nose. Oh, look at that, there, off I go. This one is really gorgeous, but it's really hard to make it work with anything else. Colorist is a person that is very aware of color and color doesn't baffle them. It intrigues them and they, they hunt it down ruthlessly. Magenta, sleek, beautiful thing, and it moves down the street. First time I saw those trolleys, I stopped in my tracks. I said, oh my God. Uh, think of me this way. Every time you see me, think that this is on my face. Are, they, are these fluorescents or are they just strong color? There are some fluorescents there. Are there? There are. Hot pink and, yeah. Yeah. I'd like a, yeah. All the fluorescents are the bad boys of color. I love them. I love them, love them. They're the greasy, the macho men in beautiful clothes. They are... <clears throat> that's anything that's fluorescent is gonna I think that's be that's like that. Wrong. The reason I'm not painting on this video is because there's nothing they can learn about the secrets of my art when I'm painting, because all the secrets of my art are inside, and you can't see inside of me. Yes, yes, all my pieces are sensual, not erotic, but all of them are sensual. Everything I've ever done. I trick the eye by visually putting one color or one space in front of the other space. And it's, it's a, a thing I, I don't mean to do, but I love it when it happens, and I know when it happens. And so the, you think the space, for example, you think this space way back here is deep, because dark is always for the back, we know that. And, and then you have something lighter. But then all of a sudden, it's just a stupid piece of board, you guys. And then all of a sudden, it's not flat. It's, it's got depth to it, all of a sudden, you go way back in here, and then all of a sudden, boy, 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 I bring you right back up, front and center, with that light color. Pow! There it is. 
And then I can push you over the edge and get you way back in there. I can drag you along. I can make you come almost forward, but not quite. And if, oh God, look, it's transparent. I'm going back into it. Oh, I'm being sucked. Oh, no, I'm back. No, I've fallen back way deep into it again. And now I've come up forward and, oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm free. Oh, I'm falling through again. And then you're into the depths and into the black. And you're in a space. It's, it's actual visual places in, in, in space. But we all know it's, it's just a stupid board. Yeah, it's lovely. Oh, my God, I want to make a great big one, you see. Yeah. Huh? It's nice and huge. Yeah. Two exactly the same size would be great. Yeah. Watch this. The things that you don't know are the most intriguing. Because then you can make up what you think it could be. Or there's an, an unending joy in finding what it actually means, or what it could mean, or what it never did mean and might. You're getting a lot of information out of me that I've never verbalized before, because painters don't have to. They paint it. They say it that way. See? Complicated as hell. Have a jelly bean. Quit talking about it and have one. <laughs> We need uh, to photograph those two big ones and the two small ones, three small ones. I've always kind of been outspoken. As a young woman, that's forbidden, you know. Young man, it's okay. You can't live in the past because you're living in the present thinking about the past. And what good is that doing you? It is my life, my breathing in and out right now. That's what it is. It's all about that. That's all there is. That's all there is. Now, I don't want it to stop. I want it all to be as exhilarating and as exciting and as colorful and as filthy, chalky, messy as it can be. Love it. It's remarkable to be alive. Breathing in and breathing out is remarkable. Catch Art Zone Friday nights at 8 and anytime online at seattlechannel.org slash artzone.